Okay. Um, I did quickly just want to say, as far as the ranked choice voting goes, there is a people's veto that's going to happen. We're just waiting. The governor has to sign the bill that sends it to 2021. Um, and then uh, the Secretary of State has to get the petition out. We're hoping that we're going to have it in time so that we can be at the polls with this petition to get as many signatures as we can. We have 90 days, and I think it's, it's over 60,000 signatures to get it. So everybody be looking for that. I think this is I'm going to read. <laughs> I think, if I can read my writing. Hi, all. I'm very moved to receive this award. When I moved back to Maine in 2002, the first organization I signed up with was the Green Party, which is no surprise to you all. But right after that, I was walking down by Monument Square and ran into a group of peace activists collecting signatures for nuclear disarmament that was a nationwide petition. I hung out with these folks the rest of their time there, and at the end, when it was time to leave, Greg Field, who I grew to know and admire greatly as the director of Peace Action Maine at that point, turned to me and asked if I would be the one to take this on. And that is how I got involved with Peace Action Maine. So many wonderful people, many are in this room, worked with me back then. There are many stories I could share with you, but I think the best is the Noam Chomsky one. In 2010, Beth Streeter came to a meeting and said that she met the woman who was Noam Chomsky's left-hand person and that he was looking to come to Maine to do an event. And so I was asked if I might help put together an event with him. It was decided a fundraiser around our yearly peace supper at the Woodford's Congregational Church would fit the bill. So myself and Brad Cummings, who worked in the office, got to work. Myself taking phone reservations and Brad putting them, I thought, into the database. 700 people. So the project was that we could only see 300 for supper. So we had to get through the supper and that program and get 300 people up to the sanctuary from the church basement where the supper was, and then check in the other 400. Well, we got to the church, and only half of the room was set up. We were, in the meantime, doing the check-in outside, so I was going to tackle the fact that only half of the room was being set up when somebody came to me from outside and said, that all these people were checking in and their names were not on the list. So I had to run outside where I quickly realized that Brad must not have been saving some of the entries because I sat there while he was entering them so I knew he had entered them. But as I was about to have a meltdown, as I knew I had to get back inside to attend to the setup, when I went in the door, it was all set. Yes. That is the beauty of the wonderful peace community that I am a part of. People just took charge and got it done. The moving folks up to the sanctuary in a timely manner to get them settled and the other 400 in and get on to the front of the church all to start in time was a feat for that day. I do not know how we did it. It was one of those things that if it worked, I would be crowned queen of organizing. <laughs> but if it didn't, I would have 700 people very unhappy with me. Again, the fact that we made it work was because of so many wonderful peace folks, including those who I call my peace troops, the Veterans for Peace who helped hold back the crowds when I needed. I have brought with me, and many of you have seen on the way in, the picture of me getting numb to the front of the church. I call it my peace wedding. I sent a copy, and he agreed. 
It was after that event that I was hired on to run Peace Action Main Office from 2010 to 2012, which was the most perfect job for me that I have had in my entire life, to be paid to do peace work. So I won't go on, but I just want to say that there's so many of you who have continued this work, doing more actively than me at this point. I just went to the closing ceremony of the 2017 Peace Walk with so many wonderful folks. So I thank you all for never giving up against all odds and to the new young folks stepping up. As I said to the Peace Youth Group I ran into at a rally in Boston, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so tired. Mm -hmm. And in closing, I just want to say that I sure hope that Lukey is looking down on tonight because I think yeah. she might like that I got this award. I miss her so much. Thank you. Thank you.